Apple released macOS Tahoe 26.1 Beta 2, Build 25B5057F, to developers on October 6, 2025, exactly two weeks after Beta 1. This point release beta continues the refinement of Tahoe's core features, focusing on stability ahead of a full public launch expected later in October 2025. It's available as a Delta update around 2 to 3 gigs via system settings for those on Beta 1, or as a full installer for new testers. Public Beta 2 is anticipated soon after. Beta 2 emphasizes bug fixes over new features, addressing feedback from Beta 1's performance dips and UI inconsistencies. Early reports from developers note smoother animations and better battery life on M-Series chips. No major new features were announced in Apple's release notes, but user and forum discoveries highlight refinements. Apple Silicon firmware updated to 13822.40.107.0.1. Beta 1 had promise but delivered frustration. Redditors hammered on Electron apps like VS Code, Slack, spiking CPU to 100% due to liquid glass UI conflicts, blamed on devs using private APIs Apple never guaranteed. The slow loading of preview PDF, wonky sidebar contrast, laggy dock animations, and game refresh rate glitches since June. One user vented, I hate Tahoe, while others submitted 10 plus bugs that went ignore. Here are some bug fixes and performance details. Improved stability for liquid glass effects like reduced lag in transparent menu bars during animations. Fixed minor continuity issues with iOS 26.1 Beta 2 handoff like faster file sharing between Mac and iPhone. Better handling of external displays on M3 or M4 Macs resolving flickering reported in Beta 1. Here are some system changes as well. T2 Bridge OS firmware pending update for Intel Max. Safari tweaks for faster tab loading and reduced memory usage. Enhanced security patches, including better sandboxing for third-party apps. As for the known or remaining issues, occasional kernel panics on M2 Max during heavy multitasking which a typical workaround is to disable auto window tiling. Alarms in clock app may fail if display sleeps that usually prevent sleep in energy saver settings. Some users report slower Wi-Fi reconnects post-sleep. Beta 3 expected to address. With regards to Hackintosh compatibility, it works on open core setups but requires manual kext updates for sound and Wi-Fi. I would like to thank all the supporters and members of this channel for making this video possible. Thank you for your incredible support. That's about it for the latest on macOS Tahoe 26.1 Beta 2, those subtle tweaks that keep our Macs running smoother than ever. If you're excited to test it out or have thoughts on what Apple should add next, drop a comment below, smash that like button, and hit subscribe for more tech deep dives every week.